Okay. Hi, we are the Angel System, or alternatively, the Rotten System. Uh, collectively, collectively, we go by Winter um, and a few other names. Um, we are a CDID system and identify as Angelkin primarily, but also like a few other things like Therian and Ghostkin. Um, I go by Lyo. I am our co-host and I use he, him pronouns. Uh, this panel is about staying safe from weirdos and predators in the alter human slash non-human community, uh, or any community for that matter. A lot of the things I'm going to say uh, will work for any community. Um, but since this community is full, f full of minors, uh, we felt it was very important for someone uh, to talk about this. Um. <laughs> okay. Um, this panel uh, will include some uh, maybe triggering language. Uh, I will try my best to not go into any detail of anything, but uh, there will be some descriptor words and some uh, examples of uh, dangerous situations to children. Um, so please, if you have a problem with that, if that is at all triggering, exit the panel because your safety is more important than whatever this is. Um, also, uh, there will be a question and answers uh, section at the end. So if you need anything, um, if you have any questions or need anything to be elaborated on, uh, you will have the chance to ask. Okay, so I'm going to start with some base questions. What is grooming? Grooming is when the most common the most common use of the word grooming refers to when an adult takes um, gains the trust of a minor uh, for um, mostly sexual reasons, but grooming can be done by two adults. Um, talking to each other can be done by two minors. Basically, grooming is uh, has to do with a power imbalance, like age, money, anything that the pers the the um, anything that will cause a power imbalance between between the two people. That situation can be called grooming, uh, and grooming can be for sexual, um, romantic, or monetary monetary value. The, Fuck, I can't speak tonight. Or monetary reasons. Um, and a few other ones. I'm not going to be listing everything. But basically, grooming is when uh, someone gains the trust of someone who has less power than them. Who could be a groomer? Um, that is a very hard question to answer because... Um, the basic um, short answer is everyone, technically, um, and that sounds bad because it's not something you want to hear often, but um, long answer would be anyone who can have a higher power than, anyone, than somebody else, like um, the, the only people who are exempt from this will are mostly young children because they are well, children and can't really have higher power than somebody else. Um, now, what are some grooming behaviors? Uh, grooming behaviors, um, some of them, because there are a lot, sadly, some of them include... Uh, what people call love bombing, which is when um, somebody, uh, yes, yes, sorry, I was going to mention that grooming does not only happen to minors. Um, it t just tends to happen with them, to them. Okay, <laughs> um, grooming behaviors are love bombing. Um, if anyone doesn't know, love bombing is when you... But person A shows a lot of love to person B, and when person B does something person A doesn't like, person A takes away that love um, in, in return making person B more likely to do things they don't want just so they can have that affection back. Um, 
another thing could be excessive gift giving um or somebody um depending on somebody else for emotional reasons uh and making it known like in a way that will make um the person who's being depended on um less likely to leave um those are some there are a lot more but those are the base ones uh the the most common ones one would say um uh now s- someone could be saying oh but they're just really nice they're not a groomer uh and sometimes people are really nice but if anything if everything else is adding up there has to be something there it is not likely that everything is a coincidence and um if everything else i'm saying adds up they're not just being nice sadly <laughs> um somebody else could be saying oh they're just really sad i can't leave they're depending on me uh Firstly, in a general sense, um, you are not supposed to be someone's pillar. You're not a, f- um, a mental health health uh, professional. So, um, someone depending on you is not healthy by default, um, which would be a first le- red flag. Now, e- <laughs> exactly. Now, um, in a, um, this is more specific to a situation um, that happens between an adult and a child. Um, adults who have no nefarious reasoning behind it will never, ever be dependent on children. Because as adults, they are aware that children cannot help them. If an adult is depending on you and you are a child, that's, that's a giant red flag because they would not do that any healthy adult yes exactly hmm. okay so now going into some broader points basically um firstly what do you do if you know someone is a groomer um a trial operator any of those words um, and I would like to add that um, if you are definitely sure about it, because some of these, um, some of my tips, t- not tips, I don't want to call them tips, but some of my, um, some of the things I'm going to say do include making the situa- this situation public um, and false accusations hurt victims really badly. Um, so... If you are not sure, if it's just a hunch or something, or if the evidence, uh, if, 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 um, the evidence isn't even, um, oh, I'm sorry, of course, (laughs) um, I will do that for now, from now, okay, (laughs) thank you. Um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, if the, if, oh god, I'm sorry, one moment. Basically, if the evidence does not seem very believable, please, um, be careful on what you do. Because, again, um, false accusations only hurt people. Now, um, there are two subsections of what to do if you know someone who is a child predator. Um, one is they have if they have little to no um following, and what you do then is um um other than call the police, which is what you should do um what you should do uh like ninety percent of the time the times if you are able to um what you need what you should do if someone has a small Yes, if someone, if, if possible, contact the victim's parents. This is mostly applicable f- for someone you know IRL, though. Yeah, that also um, 
is a very good thing to do if you are able to. Uh, if you're not able to do that, or if you're not able to call the cops for X, Y, or Z reasons, um, what you need to do is, if you have a following, go public with it. Because the more people know, the less likely this person is going to get involved with another minor. Um, and if you do not have a following, you don't not have any social media or anything like that, um, tell your friends, tell people who you are close to, so they know, so they can want other people. And then basically a chain reaction happens where uh, it is known that that person is unsafe and children should not be around them. And uh, maybe it gets to the hands of someone who can actually call the cops, tell someone's parents, anything like that. Um, now it gets a bit trickier when um, if the person has a big following because uh, um, you might find that uh, some fans will not take uh, will not take uh, the, the accusations at face value and will do anything to make sure uh, yeah be, yeah be careful spreading Co-op posts, they are almost always incorrect or, or, or over petty nonsense framed as being a predator. Yeah, co-op posts, uh, we hate co-op posts, but if there's nothing else you can do, um, co-op posts will be, like, it should be your last thing that you, sh that you can do. Yeah, and also um, go if somebody if something is credible to go to the yeah, fuck I can't read <laughs> credible go to the internet tip line go to the cops go to the website stuff contact the parents for sure if possible even if none of that still works more people in the community that's what I said <laughs> but in a better um, written out manner because I cannot speak for the life of me. <laughs> Um, what was I saying? Yes, okay. Um, if you, um, if that person, the predator, has a, a big, bigger following or big following, um, that gets very tricky. Uh, again, um, base things, contact the cops, contact, um, uh, tip lines, parents, guardians anything that you can to get the child out of harm's way um and if possible get the predator um just off the internet and away from kids um but if you are not able to do any of that um if all else fails um what because doing um posting a co co posting a call out post a lot of the times goes very south because of false accusations, because of fans, because of everything like that. Um, what's um, more likely to help, if again there's no other options, is contacting somebody who has a, who has as big or bigger following um, than that person. Um, if all else fails, because they can afford. Um, Basically, um, if they are also in a good mind uh, headspace, um, they can afford um, basically that person's fans not believing them. Yes, as much as include as much credible evidence as possible, always. Um, also, make sure you have a way to prove that evidence is real because with AI nowadays, it's very easy to fake yes yes make sure the evidence is credible and, and much and make sure that the evidence is archived yes and have again have a way to prove it's real because ai is uh fucking us all over um.
credible evidence tears, live links, way back machine links, first person victim, testimonies, everything else, screenshot can be faked with MS Paint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do agree, Dory. Exactly. Um, but, uh, I'm getting sidetracked. Okay. Um, if they, again, if, um, okay, if they, if you are able to get in contact with somebody, again, that should be your last, um, your last, uh, you, the last thing you can do if anything else doesn't work, if you're not able to do anything else, um, because the internet is a scary place and people are shitty without you realizing it. So even if you do trust somebody with this information, um, be careful. Uh, is con is con contract the cops a good idea if you're in a demographic they're prejudiced against? Could that be held against you? Um, I'm gonna try. Uh, please ask that at the end again because I'm gonna forget. Um, I'm gonna answer that at the end because I also need to think on it a tiny bit. <laughs> Um, if all you have is chat logs, the screen recording and scrolling through them in the app is more credible because it's more difficult to fake. Yes, exactly. Um, um, that is exactly, that's the best um, advice. I was going to mention that um, later. But yes, um, have a recording scrolling through everything, every single thing. Like even if it's years of conversations, scroll through everything because nobody's going to fake a recording of years of conversations. Um, just to call somebody out. And if they are, uh, there must be something behind that. So, um, going back to what I said, to what I was, I was saying, um, if now um, there's a third uh, thing that can happen, which is if you know the Predator IRL, um, which, um, is not common at all, but if it does happen, um, what you need to do, if you are a minor, go to a trusted adult, a trusted a teacher, a parent, um, a guardian, aunt, friends, mom, brother, sister, I don't fucking know, somebody who is, who is over the age of 18, preferably even older than like 25, um, because as much as it sucks, the police will not believe kids very easily, but they will believe older people. Um, and if you are an adult, uh, please be the first thing you do. Get as much evidence as you can and contact the police. Because um, it is very important that um, even if the child is out of the situation even if the victim is out of the situation it will happen again and it's best to um the best way to stop that from happening is getting the creep either investigated or behind bars um so what you do if it's IRL you contact the police as soon as possible um so I'll be going to my next point um, what do you do if you know someone is being groomed? Uh, um, there are two subsections of this. Firstly, if they do know that they're being groomed, which doesn't happen often, but it is possible, um, I will be using um, our lived experience for in, as an example, because um, earlier in the year, our host um, was being a dumb dumb on the internet and got um us in a really shitty con in a really shitty um situation and um because of basically mostly me and a few other headsmates he was aware of what was happening uh so he knew what was happening he knew what was going on um and uh if the person if the victim is actively talking about it or uh, posting about it or anything like that, please, please, I am begging you, please. Um, if you are firstly able to, and if you um, are in a are 
if you're able to let them know that you're there for them that if they if anything goes south that you will be there to help let them know basically that um you're there and beca- because if somebody's talking about it it's nine times out of ten a cry for for help so um like what pushed um our host um over the edge to block the creep um was our best friend talking to us about it and um i could not be more grateful um so and even if you want to go further with that if you are close to them just talk to them about it ask them what's going on ask them everything if they're able to um get proof or evidence um and if they it's safe for them like if they don't have to stay in the situation further to get proof um ask them for the proof if they um themselves do not want to um contact the police or anything like that and if you are willing to um just basically um and then and then of course contact the police do anything that you can uh to get that person off the internet away from kids and everything like that um now it gets really really tricky um if they the person does not know um if they're not aware of what's going on if they um if they don't they aren't aware that they're being groomed uh this can be a really dangerous situation to um basically put put um try to help them from because uh the uh, grooming is all about trust um the the predator has gained their trust and um you have to be really careful because if they lose trust in you nine times out of ten it's gonna put more trust in the predator which is something it's a really bad thing of course uh which you do not want to happen um so uh if you are close to them and if you are basically sure that this will not um make them uh distrust you or this or trust the prayer more um what you can try to do is talk to them about it um inform them that what's happening isn't uh normal um uh, also prefacing this do not be aggressive or anything like that when talking to them about anything um that has to do with this because um um being aggressive towards um a victim of abuse um will only uh hurt them and it will never help being aggressive towards anyone when trying to change their mind will never help so um it's a lot trickier when the victim doesn't believe there's anything wrong either 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 i was in the situation talk to the school counselor but i'm not really get out fully because uh um it feels kind of weird to read out um somebody's personal thing for some reason but uh yes talk to some professional uh yes talk to some professional if you're able to um everything i'm saying um prefacing with with uh your first thing to do is talk to somebody to to a professional to anyone that can <coughs> sorry um anyone that um has been trained on this um uh it should be your first thing to do if you want to help um um or, or if you know another thing yeah yes uh, yes always be careful do not further select the victim prioritize supporting them over making them see the truth yes exactly that is so important uh but uh i was saying um 
what was I saying? I completely forgot. Uh... I don't think I'm gonna remember. Uh-uh. If I remember, I'm gonna, um... Uh, let's put a dot in this and see if it comes back to me. Okay. Um... So, be there for them. Um, be there for them. Uh, fuck. I just... <laughs> okay, next thing you can do, if you are not close to them, if you are not... if Or if it's not safe to... Uh, basically... Uh, make them see the truth as... Fuck. <laughs> as this person put it. Um, if it's not safe, or if it's, um, X, Y, or Z reasons, you cannot tell them what's wrong, um, or try to make, to let them know, uh, make sure that they know that you are there for them, if they realize, um, what's going on organically, um, it's a lot easier to, uh, deal with this, if you know somebody is there for you, uh, if you know, uh, if you know that people will be there and that people believe you and everything like that, so make sure they are aware that you are there for them. <laughs> oh God! Oh Lord! Um, okay, give me one moment. I need to go get some water. Uh, I will be right back. My throat is killing me. <laughs> We are so back. Hello. <laughs> Hydrate or titrate. <laughs> okay. Let's let's um continue. Where was I? All right. Um and my last point for this is if they don't know um Get in contact with somebody that can help put the pers the predator um away. Get the get the predator away from them. Get them investigated. Get them uh behind bars, which is a bit unlikely, but um let's be hopeful. Um, whether that be um the police, um and in some really specific situations where the police cannot be involved for X, Y, or Z reason if the... if anything... Um, yes, if nothing else, they could get, end up on a registry which could keep the kids around them safe. Yes, exactly. Um, but if the police cannot get involved for any reason, if any other adult cannot get involved for any reason, um, there is their last resort your last resort um should be to get in contact with somebody who um basically um there are some people whose whole thing technically is to help kids with this type of things if you cannot get the actual police involved um uh it's better than doing nothing. Um, getting in contact with somebody who's a uh, quote unquote a predator hunter. Um, that sounds very edgy, I know, but it's better than doing absolutely nothing. Because that person, a lot of those people know how to file police reports and how to get people investigated. Um, so they might be able to help if you yourself cannot get in contact with the police. Um, one that comes to mind as an example right now is, uh, somebody by the name of Lyle Convoy. 
Um, I hope people make co um, connections with that in my name, uh, but shush, we're not talking about that. Um, I will not get into details about him. You can look him up and stuff like that. Um, but that's the first one that comes to mind. And, and be sure that the person that you contact is credible, actually, because there are a lot of people who are trying, yes, but try to get one that does know how to file police reports and won't just make monetized vi videos on YouTube. Exactly what was I, I was about to say. Make sure the person is credible and will not just make money out of the pain of others. Um, that's why I'm bringing up um, the, the person that I did bring up, because um, he mostly does not actually even go public with, with um, the cases, which is very good. Um, but again, do not trust, put your, your full trust into any one person, because you do not know them. That, is, that should be your last resort. Um, before call up post, if that doesn't work, um, I don't even know if call up post will even be good because that will probably um, actually further isolate the victim. But uh, now in um. Basically, um, uh, moral of the story, call up posts suck, um, everyone sucks, people suck, but hey, um, here's what to do. <laughs> um, but it's better than doing nothing in most cases and it helps to prevent other cases. Yes, that too. Yes, it's doing something is better than nothing. Uh, like, drinking a sip of water is better than not drinking water for three days straight. Borrow the story prioritize helping the victim instead of hurting the pred and stay safe. Yes. That is so real. Um, now, uh, uh, next point is what to do if you are being groomed. Uh, it's, um, common sense that somebody might um, come to some very unpleasant realizations after my panel today. Um, and uh, that is okay. Um, so here's some ground tips um, on how to start getting help or realizing what's going on. So, uh, Firstly, your first thing to do, tell a trusted adult, tell a teacher, again, teacher, parent, guardian, friend, mom, aunt, anything like that. Have, 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 uh, I was about to say have a good day, but that's not what you said. Um, have fun, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, tell an adult. Oh god, okay, my brain is not working, but we work with it. Uh, tell a trusted adult, tell anybody, for, that should be your first thing to do, but um, I understand that in some situations, um, either due to shame or guilt, or either to um, there not being a trusted adult in your life, um, you might not be able to con to tell somebody and since the police do not the police will need to get into contact with um your your um an adult in your life and sometimes that can prove to be um dangerous um other than uh getting in contact with an adult if you cannot do that um your first thing to do is uh block the person and if that erases uh any proof that you have if you feel um that you need to make um 
if the, if the, if you feel that you need to go public or to warn people with it, get your proof first, block and then block the person all contact, um, because this is not a TV, this is not a movie. Going under contact just get more proof will go horribly. Um. It and that's a promise. It has. It will never work if you are a child, um, being uh predated predated on, um. So cut all all contact as soon as you are able to. Um. Do not even give the person like a goodbye message or anything like that. Just cut all contact, which is the first thing you should do. Um. You should, after which you should, if, tell somebody you trust what happened and what's happening. Uh, tell somebody, uh, or your friend, somebody, anybody. Um, and your first thing to do after you might have gotten um, out of contact with this person is to heal. Uh, I know how much... Uh, uh, children and people in general will feel the need to um, be a hero, basically, and uh, call this person out, put the proof out there to make sure nobody else gets hurt, uh, which in a perfect world, that would be the first thing to do. But you need to heal from your trauma first before helping anybody else. Because that's just a recipe for disaster. Uh, you, if you feel if you feel that you need to, because sometimes logic does not um, help with this, with the feeling that you need to do something about it, or if the only way you can heal is calling this person out. Um, uh, make sure you have all the proof that you are able to get. Um, have credible proof, um, like um, mentioned earlier. Uh, yeah, credible, credible evidence, um, live links, way back machine links, a live first person victim testimonies, everything else. And uh, have, have, if you're not able to get that, um, have. Um, at least a recording of uh, you scrolling through the messages. Uh, and also, um, another thing you should be prepared to, pre prepared to face when um, if you decide to go public is be prepared for people to not believe you. Um, which that statement sucks, and I wish I didn't have to say it, but uh, people suck. Um, people, um, some people would rather die than believe the victim, so be, please be, be prepared for that. And if you are not, do not go public with it yet, because it's inevitable. Um, and I would like to also mention in this section that if anyone... Uh, <coughs> sorry. Um, if anybody uh needs help, basically, if they have just realized or if they don't know what to do, um, and they need help, our DMs are open. We will not be able to do much since we are bodily a minor, but um, we can uh point to you to some resources that will be able to help who are by professionals and everything like that. So if anybody needs anything, our DMs are open of, or on here and on Tumblr. Uh, basically, that's... Um, basically... Uh, yeah. I'm so sorry. My, I'm losing what I'm saying real quick. Uh, now... Uh, 
You're good. You've been talking for very nearly an hour after all. Holy shit, it has been an hour. You're right. <laughs> oh god, I was very in- immersed. Um, now this last section is, uh, time's an illusion. That's so real. I hate time. All my homies hate time. The spice, of course. <laughs> um, uh, this last section will be the most, please take this last se- section with, um, a lot of, um, with a, with a lot of salt, not just a grain of salt, because it is how to, in quotation marks, spot a groomer, or how to, quote-unquote, not get groomed, which is unable to, I am unable to answer that, because, um, um, as much as I hate to say it, um, grooming evolves, um, to what what can be um, easily recognizable today, easily recognizable grooming behavior today, um, could be something completely different tomorrow. And uh, groomers, uh, while being fuck- fucking idiots, they are also very smart, and they adapt. So how to quote unquote spot a groomer and how to quote unquote not get groomed. Um, very uh, basic uh, things that can be red flags because um, uh, people who um, basically bad people will always in some way crack and show uh, it's it's a phenomenon that people who uh, basically are not um okay i i just okay groomers and people who are bad always 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 at some point mess up and show something so these are things that could but are not always um things that could be uh red flags and um Things that will uh, basically be a warning sign. Um, also, prefacing this with saying, do not call somebody out over any of these. Uh, some of these might be weird and very questionable, but do not, and I repeat, do not call somebody out over um, these. Uh, because false accusations are never ever ever gonna help anyone uh an example of false accusations um hurting victims is um if anybody knows the quiet allegations who turned out to be false um we have seen a lot of people um compare that and the recent um abuse situation um in the mcyt community i'm not naming names because i just um stand with shovel but um uh people have been comparing that and had been comparing that and the quite allegations uh when they first came out um and i saw a lot of people saying oh i don't want a repeat of that situation so i'm not gonna take any sides which is a very clear um situation where false allegations hurt victims um so some things that might be red flags and that should make you um at least weary of um somebody Something important is trying to avoid getting out sensitive information to strangers, age especially for minors. Teens do not, you don't need to say their uh, their age in a public space. Yes, exactly. Um, uh, we are guilty of saying our, our age publicly um, because um, our host is, again, a dumbass uh, sometimes. But yes, <clears throat> ten, teens do not. Do, do not and should not um, get their age out publicly. Uh, that is never, ever, ever good and is never needed. 
Um, um, but what I was saying, um, <clears throat> if some things that might be red flags are if that person is an adult who are friends with a lot of minors, who interact with minors a lot, um, because sensible, normal adults, at least for the most part, will not um, be friends with kids because they're not of the same um, ability and cognitive ability and everything like that. Adults do recognize that minors are, in a way, um, not able to be on the same page as them, and sensible adults refuse to have to be f um, friends with somebody who who is y a lot younger. Um, especially if they have friends who are like 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 thirteen to fifteen age brackets, that is very 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 questionable. Um, uh, extremely so, and even younger than that, that's just straight to jail. But um, um, another thing that could uh be um a very big red flag a lot of the time is if they um like questionable things. I'm not getting into any details of that. I hope your um, imagination can work for that. But um, not in a scoldy way, but staying safe. Uh, but since it's about information, is a, way, is a way to protect yourself from people who might use that information as leverage. Yes, exactly. It's okay for adults to be friends with children. It's important for kids to have a healthy relationships with adults so that they can recognize unhealthy friendships when they arise. Have have safe people to talk to when a safe situation. Yes, um, I might have phrased what I was saying a bit weirdly, but uh, if that person integration friendship is fine, only being friends with children could be a red flag. Yes, that, that's what I was trying to get at. I'm sorry if that was not cre clear. If most or all their friends are children, it is a red flag. So basically that anyone needs someone safe to talk to, they can also reach out to, to members of the staff here. And yes, Vids beat me to it. One important way to stay safe is to have healthy relationships with trustworthy adults who have a model appropriate behavior, especially in group settings such as con like this. Yes. Exactly that, yes. Um, you people are making very good points. Uh, <laughs> this is my panel, how dare you? <laughs> um, but, yes, that. Um, also, uh, what, what was I saying? Yeah, if they are if they are into questionable things, um, I'm not getting into any details. And again, this is only uh, this is a lot of the time a beige flag at most. But if anything else is adding up, that it, this could be a red flag. Um, um, by re questionable stuff, I am referring to mostly um, things like NSFW material that might be. Um, I don't know how to explain this in a not uh, bad way, because, and I do not want to explain this, really. Use your imagination to get to guess what I'm talking about. Um, that could be a red flag with other things, um, paired with other things. Uh, now this one, because I mentioned earlier, uh, talk to um, to contacting somebody whose uh, thing is to call out predators. Um, if they are way, way, way too obsessed with um, 
predators and calling them out and everything like that. Uh, that could also be a red flag. Um, paired again with other things, be careful around everyone, basically. Um, especially people who are, um, um, especially people who might uh, be around predators for one reason or another. Um, I do not completely remember the person's name, but um, semi-recently, I think, there was a predator hunter, hunter who was called out for being, surprise, surprise, a predator. Um, uh, so just, even, even if that person seems to be safe, uh, be very, very careful um, around them and be careful what you do and uh, a rule of thumb that uh, it's not it's not like a law but yeah sharing NSW interest with minors especially in private is a red flag which does not apply to the educated minors about topics like puberty and safe sex but other than that yeah that is a, another giant red flag um, talking to children, um, especially talking to children about um, what you like in the bedroom. Um, if any adult here for one for any reason thinks that's okay, uh, um, be careful. Do not do it. Do not do, do, just do not. That's not. If you are um, not, you know, a predator, please keep that in mind. Do not even. The rule of thumb would be to not even talk about it when minors could be allowed around, like in mixed um, age brackets, maybe in mixed ages um, conventions, um, or generally without any warning or like anything like that. Be careful, do not do that. Um, because I'm only saying that because I have seen actual, uh, People who are not predators, um, it's definitely a red flag if adults do not take steps to keep age inappropriate materials away from minor minors. If there's a space, if there's a space for of that new material, it has to stay within that space. Yes. This con is actually a very good ex example of that. If I do not, if I'm not wrong, there's a rule about that. Um, and uh, I am very, very, very proud of uh, this convention uh, for that because a lot of people overlook the, um, think it's common, it's common, assume it's common sense to just, uh, not talk about NSFW materials when um, minors could be around. Uh, uh, one moment. Um, okay, I don't remember. I think I was, I was, um, I was reading on in um the 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 rules area uh, early, uh, God earlier because for some reason I was convinced um swearing wasn't allowed um and uh I I'm not gonna be reading the, them right now to find the rule I'm talking about but yes yes yes. Um, uh, we aren't allowing NSW content th here this year. In future years, we might add a section to, to that, but only if we can manage the logistic of age verification. Yes, that is, um, yes, just that's, um, the best thing that you can do. Uh, it's very sad that I've seen a lot of places that, um, either don't care or actively, um, like don't have any rules set in place um or 
for some reason don't think about that because um I'm, uh, I think I remember at some point um we were um in a server I think where the owner was like called out with um because people were saying were pointing out that they were allowing NSFW material in um like general and stuff like that and the owner just said oh nobody's weird here we're all just family or something along those lines and that's just a giant red flag <laughs> but um uh yeah yeah so you can say fuck but just you can't you know yeah i was no, I was just convinced that swearing in general wasn't allowed, and the only reason I looked at the rules was because someone in Headspace went, wait, this isn't a, a, a Christian Minecraft server, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm not joking about that, actually, that's just something someone actually said. <laughs> but, anyways... Um, the last red flag that I'm going to list, there are millions of red flags that I could list, but um, time, you know. Uh, if they have been called out before, that is a giant, giant red flag. Um, um, <laughs> the GIF is broken. It doesn't want to. It's okay. Uh... Um, if that person has been called out before, that is just a giant, giant, giant red flag. Um, even if the even if the um, information information in the post or whatever um, is a bit iffy, you should still keep that at the back of your head. Um, because uh, just. Rule of thumb, if somebody has been called out before, it's best to at least keep that in mind and do not pass off any red flags as just coincidences or anything. Um, now this section, uh, this last section was um, actually written by uh, one of my headmates, um, which is a real quick PSA um, to anyone that might have or um, is going through anything um, like everything I, I've uh, talked about. Uh, um, it's um, he wanted to say that um, it is not your fault that uh, it is not your fault that um, something like this happened to you, and it's not your fault. And and you did not cause it, nor did you in any way, um, in any way, like you mentioned earlier, collapse in the proof in uh, and of itself. In full succession, definitely happen, but but it bears extra attention if someone has been called out before. Yes, um, but uh, I'm trying. He hasn't written this down, so I'm trying to remember what he wanted me to say. Uh, but um, it's not your fault if you have been some uh, um, if you have been through something like this. Um, you did not fall for it. You did not um, cause it in any way. Um, it is in no way something that you. Uh, you are at fault for and uh just generally it isn't your fault and um Peter is sneaky as fuck and will and use it and will use and abuse it, whatever emotional weakness they can find exactly. Predators are just shit beings. Um and uh they always evolved to find a way to hurt people, so it's not your fault if you quote unquote fall fall for it or 
even um another another quick PSA if if you're one of your friends um uh somehow um get outed as something like this uh it's not your fault for not seeing the signs but you what you will be at fault for is if you do not if you do not distance yourself from them uh um that's i think that's the psa basically uh here is i i'm going to post in the chat um a link that we have found uh if you give me one moment um um uh it has a, a bit more information uh about things uh um and it has some hotlines um if i remember correctly uh one moment uh it also has some uh one moment it has some more explanations of what grooming can be or what it can present with as not with um Uh, one moment. Uh, here we go. Okay, got it. Um, also, another thing that if you Google, um, some things will come up if you Google, like, uh, um, if you Google what to do or what grooming is, anything like that, things will come up. Um, um, sometimes they're not to be trusted. Uh, make sure you read thoroughly through everything you find to make sure that what's what, what's written there and the professional that 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 that, that um, sometimes is going to talk with you is actually um, here. Uh, that's the link. Uh, um, read through everything uh, very carefully once you find something. Uh, that's basically um, all I can say for now. Uh, be, be careful, read through thoroughly if you find something. Um, Everything I have written down is done. So, um, does anybody have, um, if you want the service of the red flags for abuse in the other human community in particular, we have this document we have made a few years back. It's not focused on grooming specifically, but the red flags still apply to situations of grooming and other kinds of child abuse. We would redo the call out po we would redo the call out post section to reiterate that how much, um, just how much call out posts are let. Uh, largely bunk or bad or a bad idea if we did this now though okay yes thank you for thank you for the uh, fuck <laughs> i can't talk thank you for posting that i think that's very that's very um that will be very useful to anyone um now uh any questions from anyone Um, I remember that one question that somebody posted earlier. Uh, let me. Um, um, is pre is um, is pre uh, uh, contract contacting the cops a good idea if you're in a demographic they're prejudiced against? Could that be held against you? Um, I'm not aware for. Um, I'm, I I I do not know for. Um, uh, Thank, thank you for making this panel, by the way. We wish we had resources like this when we were younger. And it's a good idea, good to have now. Yes, that is, that's the only, that's the reason we um, wanted to do this. Um, because uh, when we um, were going through a lot of things, we wish we had this to just um, at least be told that what's, what, what was going on is not our fault. 
at the very least. Um, but, uh, shit. Um, uh, yeah, the question, one moment, I'm gonna, um, what was I saying? Okay, um, I'm not sure about the US because we are, um, not there, we do not live there, and from what we've heard, the cops there are pretty shitty. Um, uh, I would advise if you are afraid that um, contacting the cops will not work because you are um, in a demographic that they um, are against. Uh, I we would we would um, a good idea would be to get somebody else to make the report at least. The U.S. cops vary from state and city, but necessarily they are piss poor at their jobs. Yeah, I've heard about that. That's horrible. Here isn't much of a difference, but uh, um, but here at least people to the cops are do not have prejudice against anyone. They just hate everyone. <laughs> um, it probably depends on the on the so the mo I cannot pronounce that word in the police jurisdiction, but I know that in my hometown they do keep people that call the cops on record just as well as the people they they're called about. Uh Um, yeah, basically, if you are able to ask somebody who, uh, lives at the same place as you, that could be a good idea if you want this, um, question answered. Uh, from our, uh, experiences, uh, um, here, the cops actually do a decent job sometimes, um, 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 a lot of times, no, not really, but, um, they hate everyone the same, so I can't really say here they have any prejudice, and, uh, we have not had to call the cops for this kind of thing, but we did have to call them once, uh, and basically, um, it sucks. It sucks that cops have to be the the person you need to get in contact with to do anything. Um, but it's 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 it is what it is, you know. If you're scared that they're gonna be um, prisoners against you, or they're not gonna take you seriously, seriously, or anything like that, it's best to like get somebody who you know. They are, like, a cis white man, um, getting a cis white man to do the actual police stuff would be at least a decent idea, since, you know, but I think that's all I can say on it. Um, if anybody, if anybody else has any questions, um, I can try to answer. If not, I think that might be all. We don't have any questions, but we wanted to say thank you for the panel. It was very informative. I'm very glad. I was really stressed that the panel is just would would just have no actual um information to help. <laughs> Fun fact: um, I technically went blind into this. Um, uh, yes. Thank you for for the panel. It was very good, and you did very well. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Um, I went technically blind into this because half of it was written by um, another one of my headmates. His name was Fen. Yeah, his name is Fen. Um, but he got assigned to like, like, um, 
be the leader of a search party in Headspace. <laughs> so I had to do this, and it's technically my job, this kind of thing. So <laughs> it was a very important topic to cover, and it's great to, to see someone talking about it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm glad this was good. I'm glad. I'm glad it did, it did its, its job. Yes, yes, you can you can end the recording. Um Thank you for the information for, for the panel. It's more to talk about topics like this, in my opinion. Some abusive people tend to depend on isolating their victim. One very good thing we can do for ourselves is to foster a community that's not afraid to spread information and resources about staying safe. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's the best we can do as a community to be actually open about this. Goodbye, have fun. I feel like it's especially important for, for those of us with marginalized or unusual identities because even just having that can be very isolating until you find the rest of your community. Yes. Thank you for the excellent panel. You did fantastic. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Giving folks safe spaces to talk about things they might be going through is, is for, I cannot pronounce that word because of the isolating factor. And I agree with, I, I, I cannot pronounce a lot of names. There are as far as, there, there are as far as folks in the community can be isolated to begin with just by being who they, who we are. So it's especially important to have these, to have those safe spaces. Yes. You people are speeding, sp spitting knowledge. Um, also, I would like to say I'm very sorry if I sounded lost or, like, kept stumbling over my words during this. Um, next time it will be better, I promise. <laughs> Thank you.
I don't know how to phrase this, but it's really, really good to be educating both kids and adults about this. As we never know what might happen, we find ourselves in such issues or needing to help someone in one. The more we know, the better exactly. You did great. Thank you. Sometimes adults get overlooked in um, conversations about this. Uh, and I think educating them is as important as educating kids, um, both in um, tr um, recognizing the signs of other adults that might harm children uh, um, and being able to prevent it and also being able to help when something does happen. Exactly. Um. I think I was going to say something, but then I completely forgot. Yeah, um, closing, almost co closing statements. Um, be safe. Uh, have, today's day and age is very dangerous for children. Um, please please, please keep an eye out for anything. Uh, do not pass things off as coincidences, um, at least um, easily. And you're welcome. Um, I hope you have a good, a good night. Um, but yeah, be careful. Don't trust a lot of people. Um, make sure you know um, who you're talking to. And everything like that. Uh, basically, um, be safe. And if any of you um, have any other questions or like um, need help being pointed to um, resources and what to do, our DMs are open once again. Uh, I think I will need to and or surely go because uh like i said at the start i am fucking dying right now because of no sleep um question what do i do <laughs> what do i do to uh go I think I'm supposed to just exit, isn't that right? Or do I... I am very confused. <laughs> I was not able to... Um, uh, go to a lot of panels because of a Wi-Fi issue we have been having. Um, so I don't know what to do right now. <laughs> Yes.